All right, welcome to Live at the Blue Box. This is This Week in Geek. I'm pretty. <laughs> you are pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, I don't know I what know the it. date is. It's uh, May... 9th. May 9th. And we're doing This Week in Geek. We are really shooting from the hip tonight. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> I got a few things, I guess. You got a few Off things? Head, sure. All right. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's jump into this. Oh, we should introduce ourselves. Uh... For those watching on Twitch, you're going to be seeing my bald spot all night. I'm Rob Southgate. With me is... A little Kanitza. Hiding his bald spot with a hat. And... Chris Mao. No bald spot. No bald spot. <laughs> Just thinning That we can see. That's right. <laughs> Just the forehead's growing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a lot of geek news this week. And I want to jump in right away with, with something... Uh, and you're going to go, what, you're leading with that? That's what a little does me every week. Uh, but I'm going to jump in with this one. Fox picked up Lucifer. Now, I yeah. brought that up because, see, we talked about it before on here, and we were pretty excited about it. But here's what's weird. They canceled Constantine on NBC. They definitely are not renewing it. But Lucifer is picked up. So I say Fox should pick up Constantine, have the one-two punch, Constantine Lucifer. That'd be a heck of a power hour. Uh, what? You guys don't care. No, I... Do you I read mean, these comics? Do you read no, these at I, all? Do you know what Hellblazer is? Have you ever I, heard I, of it? Of course, of course I do, but I'm a Marvel fanboy, so I really oh, don't know what it is. But wow. Vertigo is its own entity. Still under DC's. Uh, so you're not going to watch Preacher because you are a Marvel fanboy. No, uh, I will. I will start Preacher just like I started Constantine. Okay. And if it's start good, it. I, I will keep up. I didn't finish. I, well, I'm you watch Flash. Flash. I do, and I love Flash. And, and you I watch Arrow. Arrow. You're not a Marvel fanboy. I am a Marvel fan. You, I think we've seen a chink in the armor oh, here. Yeah, yeah believe no. me, there is no chink in this armor. <laughs> this is all Marvel. It's all Marvel. It's, it's a marvelous, across, marvelous. Tattooed thing. across my chest, thug life, and Marvel life. So, if <laughs> <laughs> but that's only one side because I can put a lot. I, I have a whole paragraph <laughs> going across. His Twitter and handle is Marvelicious. I don't know. I don't understand that. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's Marvelicious XXL. It's his new. Uh, it's the sequel to Marvelicious. Come on, there was a magic mic joke for you. Come I, I on. Get it. I, I, Nobody's laughing I'm, at I'm anything I'm not the one tonight. ready for that movie. I, I think you're going to the marathon, right? I am. <laughs> I figure. With your Channing Tatum marathon. At the end, we get a, a medallion. Yes. That's right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you get to wear it on your neck and chest. That's it's right. going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shave it into you. That's Fantastic. What I'm yeah. I'll look like a man lantern afterwards. <laughs> 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 That's, no, I, you know what? I think that's good. And we were talking about that earlier where there's too about much. About Magic Mike? No, not about Magic Mike. <laughs> I'm getting back to the topics at hand oh, okay. um, about uh, Lucifer and, and, and about Constantine. I, I would bet Constantine gets picked up by one of the alternative broadcasting oh. stations, which would make it great. So. Totally. You know, that show, I've said this before, the problem with the show, it, 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 when you were watching it, it at times lost direction. The very first episode yeah. was too lit, and then after that point, it started to look right. Right. And then there'd be a great episode, and the next one didn't tie to the previous, or it just didn't make sense. And even the final episode, it had this great lead into the final episode, and then it was like, oh, did they forget they were making a TV show? And it just fell flat. But you could see there was a great show in there. Yeah, there I, I really hope somebody... You know, everyone says Netflix immediately. It doesn't have to be Netflix. Right. And, Sci-fi and, would do a good job with sure. it. Sure. TNT. Well, that, that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, it, it would have to be picked up probably by a um, somebody by, other by a network, than but, NBC? No, no, but by a cable network. Yeah, yes. I mean, right. M- totally. NBC never gives anything a shot. Right. No. You know, the minute the minute ratings dip on it, they just they pull the plug. Well, and part of the problem is they showed the episodes out of order. Yeah. They, so I mean that. Is always no wonder, no wonder why I was confused and stopped following. <laughs> if, if you watched the show Almost Human, Almost Human was a fantastic show. I loved show. Almost yeah. Human. But you know, they showed it out of order. And that was when they did the first week that they put like episode four and then the next week was three. It was so confusing. And their, their audience like disappeared. Right. Because it made no sense. What do you think's going to happen? How, why, I don't understand why they would even contemplate I, doing that. I don't know. I don't know. 
And that was a great show. I was really sorry to see I, that I one really go. Liked, I really like almost. The only reason I could think that it happens is, is they got it in the can, and then they looked at it and said, we can't put that on, and then they needed a week to redo something. The, the network said, you are absolutely not going to put that on. Maybe it was something topical that they couldn't, you know, something had come up, and I don't know that for a fact, but that would be the reason that I think. Well, we only deal in facts on here, so you might not want to. Facts well, with a K. If we, if we do, then <laughs> or that. Facts with a Z, because a little hip-hop. Because we're hip-hop. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, that, that and, and, and I think we, you and I have discussed this off mic about how there is less restriction on cable for sponsorship, where they can have a little bit more of a leash to explore topics and run the course of a show, as opposed right. to, hey, our ratings are horrible, we have to pull you after four weeks. Well, think about it. Daredevil goes on, they show, put all episodes on. Mm. If people weren't let's say it wasn't as good as it is, or that people weren't connecting with it as much, if it was on, like, Fox, let's say, four weeks later, they might just pull that thing off, and it's this amazing piece of work. Right. Right. Whereas Netflix can say, we're committing to it almost like it's a movie. Sure. Here's the flat-out budget, and we sell based on that. But, but that's like the HBO syndrome. They, they have those shows, and they'll, they're going to give them a season regardless of what it is, and they have the money in the backing because they did Sopranos, they did right. all those other shows that they have. You know, right. Game of Thrones and Sopranos and they, can support that network well, and now Forever. they have so. that HBO Now thing. Right. So that's – what a, I don't know why it took them so long, but they have the app where you no longer have to have HBO. You can just get the app so you can watch Game of Thrones right. and – all. Yeah, a little's got it right on there. Yeah. And a frightening picture of himself, too. Well, you know, and they have, like, uh, they have some of those great secondary my kid. shows. The kids Thank are cute, you. but yeah. I don't know. There's like an eclipse about to happen there. <laughs> Well, like the, the show <laughs> Silicon Sasquatch? Valley. What is that? Yeah, I mean, they've had some really good one-off shows. Um, yes. You know, just that they'll do for a season or two, and they're fantastic. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I just watched that. I watched the first two episodes of uh, Silicon yeah, Valley. That is a it's fantastic show. It's it, got that J.T. Miller in it. Yeah. Really funny, It man. is funny. Have you seen it? It's, no, I have to check it out. You it's check it it's out. a it's DC a... property, so I don't think... <laughs> oh, uh, I'm done. I'm not going to watch that. Yeah, no, that's a really excellent show. So and once let, again, that's one that would die on network oh, yeah. TV. You wouldn't get it until the fourth or fifth episode, and then you're you're, yeah, you're already done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I just got to go. Can you listen to ACDC because you're a big Marvel fan? Oh. Uh, so. He's well, yeah, working the room. You know what? They play some ACDC songs in Iron Man, in the Iron Man movies, uh, uh, so it's okay. It's okay. It's a crossover? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got problems a little. Let me tell you, man. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, this happened after the last episode that we did, so we might as well talk about it. They released a cast picture of Suicide Squad. Yep. So this is the one we finally see. All anybody wants to see, really, is Harley Quinn. That's all, like, every headline I see, see that? Every headline I see is about Harley Quinn. Every picture is, they've got, have you noticed all these, like, leaked photos from the photo shoot have come out? Yes. Every one of them is Harley Quinn. That's all anybody cares about on that. Uh, With no. you, you, yeah, it's, it's it's the Joker. Then he's Harley. not in the oh, picture. Yeah. I know. He's in the movie. But, he's but, not in the picture. But, not, but of course, he's not in the picture because they're 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 keeping him separate. And Will Smith, his outfit looks as bad as Deathlock on Agents of Shield. I don't know about that. First, he looks like Huggy Bear. From and and then they change it to him looking like Deathlock. I'm like, it's Huggy Deathlock, and it's terrible. See, if Samuel Jackson wore that outfit, you'd be thinking it's the greatest thing ever. I, but you're, you don't like it, yes. Will Smith. Well, well it's Will saying. Smith. But <laughs> it's it's cheesed out, man. The whole thing looks cheesed out, and Killer Croc looks terrible. You know what he looks like? He looks like a bulked up version of uh, of uh, Mario Brothers the Goomba. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Which was cool in that movie. Yeah, I own that movie, of course. He looks, cool. of course, I you love, the, I love the original Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> but he looks, doesn't he look just like the Koopas? He, I can't believe they didn't go CG with him. I just, I just, I don't <laughs> understand why. So because bad. Killer Croc is supposed to be pretty massive. Pretty massive and it, like, like out of control. Like, like the abomination was like that. Yeah. Like, just like crazy. Killer Croc should be that with more teeth and, like, weird body hair. Because that's what he has in the comic. I don't know about the body hair. Oh, no, I'm he, looking at a picture of you again. Sorry. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Those poor kids. Shaven. They're all traumatized. Right. Man lantern. Uh, but, yeah, the rest of the cast, it just looked like a bleak, I don't know. I think the Sons of Anarchy looked more tough than these guys. 
I'm not looking forward to it, but that's, you know, it's but a DC I am. property. But that's the worst part about it. Chris, you're with me. You'll see anything, right? No, I don't really. I, you're not I a think, fanboy like a little. Well, no, and I, you know, I think they're playing off of her and the Wolf of Wall Street and, and oh, yeah. all that pump well, from that and saying, oh, look at this. And Of course they are. Of course they are. She's the cheesecake in it. So that picture dropped, and then all these other pictures came out. I think she looks great, but she looks like a Harley Quinn cosplayer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, okay. What else you guys got? Um, Nintendo is partnering oh, oh, oh. up I like this with one. Universal Studios. <laughs> yes, it is. For a, for a portion of, of, of the theme park, and they're going to make a Nintendo Land. I know. I can't wait. Which I can't wait to go. I can't wait. I'm a, I'm a theme park junkie. We go to Disney at least every other year. So we had this plan. We had this plan when I graduated college, which... I graduated late, so That's like two years ago. Well, and you graduated college. <laughs> I got my this two bachelors like two years ago. Right, right. Um, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but <laughs> but when, when we graduated, we had this idea. We were going to take this like big theme park trip. And it was two it's weeks. Grizzle, it was two weeks. We were going to cut through. We were going we to start in Legoland, stay there at Legolas. Legolas yes. Land. We're going to no. stay. No, not, not the one here. The little like, hey, it's two rooms. That was exciting. No, the, the Legoland down in Florida. Then we were going to go up to Disney and Universal and like everything. And then we even got crazy enough as we were figuring it out. Like, how do we get to Dollywood on the way to, and Twitty City on the way? Like, oh, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Mark my words. We're going to Dollywood sometime. I've been. So, I love Gatlinburg. Is it cool? Oh, yeah. it's cool. Dollywood. See? Fun. Hear that? Dollywood's fun. I've been. If a little's the barometer of cool. <laughs> you said my mom's cool. You're not the barometer. <laughs> Your mom is cool. Okay. Well, yeah, because you saw her perform at uh, Dollywood. <laughs> she's, she's performing at Dollywood. The bus is just flying. <laughs> you are. She, she just said you're like Eddie Haskell. You look lovely tonight, you're Mrs. Southgate. Stuck. I really like your, your necklace, Mrs. Southgate. You were really good at Dollywood, Mrs. Southgate. Eddie, I'm you're a such a nice... A Lily, you're such a nice boy. A, yeah. A, a Lily Haskell. Is that what you said? Jeez. All right. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> yeah. Awful. They're all terrible. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land. Yeah, so we were going to do this, and now that you say this, I'm like, ooh, that's got to come back. we got to do a massive one. And we're going to end it with the big red boat. Yeah, yeah. The problem is you could go for not spend any money and still cost you $10,000 to do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. What, are we going to Indiegogo that? Yeah, no, a little. Our, 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 a little's going to sell I, that I jersey and we're going to go a, off of that. I'm a Disney Vacation Club member, so I stay oh. at parks for free. <laughs> oh, nice. So. Of course you are. Of course I am. Well, I'm a I have Disney a, Vacation I, Club member. I get the bobbleheads right. and the Blu-rays. I love Disney, so does my wife, and we I go. Know. Nice, that, good. Disney's That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Have, they own the Star Disney Wars and Marvel. Crate? Wait, what? Do you get the Disney loot crate every month? No, I don't no. get the Disney loot crate. Quick, what's your favorite Disney movie? Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Not Avengers 2? Uh, oh. I, I love Ooh. Avengers 2. Look, look, you can't even smile through it, though. What? It's not as good as the first one. Of course it's not as good as the first one. The first so there one, you go. The first one was special. There's, there's something special about that movie, right. what Josh did with that. This one, is, 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 it was a... An adequate sequel, which was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun seeing it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't know why there's... It's, there's not as much hate for it as you see other movies, but why people are poo-pooing it. Because, you know what? There are things that we've already seen before. It. I like it. But it was still fun. I, mean, I liked it, but I fell asleep. the gang is all together again, and the gang is having fun. Right. right. Did you see it, Chris? Yes, I did. And did you like it? No, I liked it, but... You know, hey, I've got a student here. Uh, all right. My students. Hey, hey. It's a crowd now. Well, I, I liked it. It's just it's hard when you have five million characters. How much time can you spend on all of them? Right. Other than wait, them, wait just, till Civil War. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, gonna, no what sixteen? I mean, whatever. That's, it's like ridiculous. That's more news this week. Yeah, it is. They but released it, the official. Here's who's in it. Holy cow! Yeah. Well, you like the, mean, we talked about it, the Hawkeye thing. Like, how much time could they have spent in the two and a half hours on Haw Hawkeye? Which I thought was a great storyline in that movie, and they could yeah. have explored that and done half of the movie on that. Right? And, they and they made kind it of short change things. Yeah. It, it, it's it's almost like they for those Avengers movies they need to be the capstone, 
and let it just be a lot of action and a lot of stuff. And we don't need as much of that. Let's get into the characters. They need the right. standalones for the characters. Mm -hmm. Do the standalone Black Widow. Please do the standalone Black Widow. Please, Alil. You're a Disney Club member. Can't you make something happen? Of course. <laughs> I get, yeah. Call him up. I get a direct line. To, this is a little, know. when's it happening? Yeah, right. <laughs> to Ike and Eisner and all those guys. Yeah. Um, Eisner's not David there anymore. I don't know who's there. I don't yeah. know who's the president. You made fun of me? Did, did he, did he pop I up your pillow? Did attention to you're the, the president guy, of Disney? You're no. the guy cosplaying the big red boat right now, and you're saying yes. that I'm the fool? <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. Nice. I put that one in my pocket. That was a good you're one. You're waiting. You're waiting. Well, I think that would be good. I, th I thought they did a nice job of expanding her role. In in the, uh, in the, the universe with her, I mean, I think it was a you mean Black Widow. Black Widow was very interesting with yeah, the Hulk and all that. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the secret. I fell asleep during that part, so I have no idea. They've they've used her now Yikes. in four movies, and I think they've used her very well. She had a big role in Cap. Right. She's I want to see be, a solo she's movie. Be in Civil Civil War. Yeah. I don't think I need a, a solo movie. I think I do. I think I do. You know I think what? It's I'm a looking forward to a, a, a solo movie for Captain Marvel. Right. So and they've I. got and they've got other characters that they can start to Have I not there. said I need a solo movie for everybody? There's a janitor in issue 24 <laughs> in 1962 of Iron Man. I need a solo movie for him. Well, there wasn't an issue of Iron Man in 1962, so you are incorrect. I'm just completely making it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. So, okay. Civil geek War. card taken away. <laughs> so, this show is called This geek, Week and Rob geek, is Not a Geek. Geek, geek cred down. Oh, in front of a student. I mean, really? So, okay. So they released this cast oh. thing. And then another one came out today. The, 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 the Wait, we need to finish talking about Nintendo Land. Oh, no, let's just like totally Land. jump what I was talking about. It's this chai is affecting me. All right, so back to Nintendo Land. I'm I saying, cannot wait. I, I want wait a, I want a Mario Land. I want I want some cool games. I want like a big arcade in there oh, yeah. with some classic. Stuff. I want to get my picture taken with Yoshi. <laughs> I'm sure that'll happen. I'm, Sure, I want to. You want Donkey Kong to throw barrels at you is what you want. I, I'm, I, and then we can act out that Kevin James scene? No. The only thing I'm really hoping this also does is yeah. this also has Universal give up their rights to the Marvel characters because they're, they're running out of space and give that so Disney can have those characters. What? They have the Marvel. But why would they? Wait a minute. They've already they've already started like with well, oh you're right because it's Hulk, and everything and don't they have Namor too? They have everyone. They have the right to use every character this side of the Mississippi um, in their theme park. Oh, that's, so Disney can't I didn't know Disney that. In, in Florida cannot do anything outside of promote the movies on their monorail because it stays within the Disney grounds. Oh, I didn't it, realize this. So wow. they can't. Yeah, they can't. They can't do anything. They'll do. They'll, they'll have like one character for like a short period of time. Okay. If they can do something like they'll have like a Thor when the Thor movie came out, like there for like right. six weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he can't. He can only be like in this certain. Like he can't move like from this brick. Right, 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 <laughs> right. It's because designated of the area. Yeah. It's like when we were there and we saw. Um, it was when uh, not Frozen. What's Martha? What's the one that came out? The uh, Rapunzel one. Tangled. Tangled. And they had like a special area. She but wasn't no, outside this, of that area. It was boom. I know that she could. Yeah, she could, but the thing but is, like is Thor, of, yeah, he might be in the, that area, and that's it. Yeah, because Marvel, before all this stuff, sold off the, the rights to use them in the theme park. They have, park. like, that's areas that are, like, international waters? Probably. Probably. So you could get it, you could have, like, monkeys knife fight <laughs> in the Disney park in that one area to be completely legal? <laughs> yes. That is so awesome! No, so... Disney I would is go a member of the UN, park. I believe. So, like, Universal, although... Is it? They're a member of the UN. UN and they, they have their own, own person. Yes. It's its own country. Oh, it's would, like the Vatican, except it's... Disney. I would just walk around saying diplomatic immunity the whole time. <laughs> no, but, monkey brains. But, but right. Universal has some great rides for Marvel. Like, yeah. the Spider-Man ride is the best theme park ride ever. Really? Because I haven't been on any of... I, I wasn't on that. I wasn't on the Hulk. Hulk, have, was, Hulk was really good Hulk when roller it came out. Was really good, Hulk but, was great. But the thing is, is, the Hulk roller coaster is like just about any kind of other. You know, you compare it to like so it's the green. Batman and Six Flags and kind of all that kind of stuff. Okay. I mean, it's it all got that. I mean, the Hulk is a bit different. But Spider Man but, is more like the Back to the Future ride, right? Like no, you're immersed no, in it? No, 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 no. Really? Because I mean, that Back to the Future ride was incredible. No, the Back to the Future ride was garbage. That's why it's no longer there anymore. What? Um, I loved it. I've been on it a bunch of times. No, that was like 30 years ago that we were there, though. So, but yeah. the Back to the Future ride is you're in the car and the screen, and you're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. No, you are inside a full, fully functioning ride 
with moving 3D screens that go all around you. Yeah. And it, it, so, it immerses you. It's a whole full 4D experience. I mean, you're feeling the heat, fire. You're getting everything. Exactly. They, they use the Harry Potter. They use the Spider-Man right. ride to mimic the new Harry Potter rides. Awesome. Wait, they and, do that in the Harry Potter ride? Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. What? Wait, the one? Hey. Really? Yes. I am so lost on this stuff. That's awesome. Um, so, is it as good as that Insidious thing we did? Because that was cool. Uh, better than that insidious thing we did. Nothing is better than that insidious thing. Yes, this is, <laughs> this is clearly better. It's like in a trailer <laughs> at a Comic Con. This is amazing. Edward, it was stared. fun. I love. Yeah, Edward, you know, cried. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Edward's, that's why he's not here tonight. That's right. he's still, still crying two weeks later. Right. <laughs> All right, Hi, Edward. take that, Edward. <laughs> Wait, is this see what's dreaming live? Wait, it see, is. See what you get for not showing up, I Edward. Mean, That's you it. should text Steve and tell him to jump on, and then he can be jealous over uh, Twitch. Can we take Skype calls? I don't even and know what Twitch people is. Like what is yeah, we got any any uh, Skype? No, of course nobody's watching. Yeah, what do you got? Are you doing geek news? Oh wait, yeah, we forgot. <laughs> Welcome to this week in geek. Well, we are. We're talking about like the parks. It's huge yeah. news. The Nintendo. That is big. I, that's, I, I, I was super. That's. I think that's the. That's what happens the, when you don't prepare. That's how you get ants. All right, so look, I got a laugh out of William. Uh, <laughs> uh, boo! Yeah, I was gonna say that's how you, I, I, I don't get it. Is that something the old people say? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, okay, all right, go go for it. What's what's next? Uh, this, as long as we're talking Marvel and all that stuff, we might as well get it out of our system. Never. It, no, really, never, because. There are so many rumors flying that Tom Hardy wants to be Punisher. For Netflix, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Take my money. But it's... It's Punisher on Netflix. That means they can do their thing. But you're already paying for Netflix. It's not like they're taking anything more. I want the shirts. (laughs) I want the bobbleheads. I want the ride. I want the 4D ride so you can smell Frank Castle's sweat. Yes. no, not really. Is that that Smellorama? <laughs> are, are we pulling out an S- SCTV prank? Yes. Smellorama? Smellorama. Smellorama. No, man. I am, I am so down. Wow. Well, I've been saying that since Nuff Said started, that I want a Punisher movie done right, not these. I was going to say we've had three. Yeah, I mean. okay. <laughs> three? Oh, yeah, we did. I forgot. Dolph. Uh, I forgot about Dolph. What's, I have it on Blu-ray. I made, what's his face I made Dolph plays, Club uh, member. Uh, Thomas Jane. <laughs> yeah, Thomas Jane. The Thomas other, Jane. The other yeah. dude who's in uh, Thor. I can't remember his name. Um, Thor. Not Thor. Um, Idris Elba. Oh, <laughs> he, uh, Idris Elba. <laughs> I'm going to draw a blank on his name. Jeez. Boy, that never happens on this show. Yeah. So anyway, Tom Hardy. What'd you say? That Fred? is an I mean, awesome choice. And <laughs> Chris forgot he's asleep. That is an bad. awesome choice for Punisher. Well, I he, hope that happens. I, I, I'm I, actually. I would. What, I'm curious because he has a long-standing. Running contract with Warner Brothers that, you know, I don't know. Do you think it would prevent him? I doubt it. I don't know. I, don't, I doubt it would prevent him, but I wonder if they would. I, w- I don't want to say make things difficult, but, you know, you're, you're well, kind of yeah, you going into the, the enemy. Streams. You're going yeah, you're the crossing enemy, the streams. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this is a ploy to break that contract. Maybe he's not happy there. Maybe. Because th- there's a lot you know? of Marvel money flying around. Oh yeah, he need, he, they you know these guys. Well, <laughs> these think? guys all I know, but these guys all see that and they what? need to jump on to that. Because what is Avengers get, two made like seventy five dollars, yeah. eighty yeah. bucks, a, a, a nanosecond, two hundred. It's like, it's like two hundred thirty five million. Bucks I far. mean, you look at these deals that these guys are signing four, five, six movies. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean true. that's like lifelong security for them. So you, you know who signed this week though is Martin Freeman. Yeah, Martin Freeman's gonna be in Civil War. Is Martin Freeman, be, you guys know who that is, right? Yeah. He's going to be uh, Bilbo Watson? <laughs> Bilbo Watson, yes. Uh, who else yeah. can that guy play? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's, it's, yeah. Um, I don't know who he's going to be, though. I'm excited for him to be in something. Uh, don't waste we're, him, though. Don't make him like Linda Carter Ranelli or whatever her name is, Ghirardelli, because all she was was Hawkeye's wife. She didn't do anything, and I think she should yeah. have. Why? I like what her. She, she, but what has she really done? But they she was at you ER. Got, you hire somebody. Grandma's like, boy, yeah. You I hired, love that movie, but she <laughs> You could have hired anybody to play his actress. Wife. I know? think she was a janitor in uh, issue 27 in 1962 <laughs> of yeah, Iron but Man. But you know what? You could have you done more with her. And who her knows in if that role. Will, if you could have hired anybody to play Hawkeye's wife. Unless they're going to do something with Hawkeye's wife. It, do you think they will? It didn't seem like they were going to. It seemed like he was only in the next... 
two, right? In the in the. Uh, He's in Civil War, and then he's Civil in... War, and then the first... I thought they were saying, and I read that he was going to be in the, in the first uh, Infinity, Infinity War? Wars, and then that was it, but I don't know. Oh, could he die in Infinity War? I think that's all they said he was in line for, in terms of his... I don't character. know. I think if, if they were going to kill him, they were going to do it in Avengers 2. I don't Spoiler think so. Alert. And I'll tell you why they didn't kill him, because Joss Whedon wanted to make good on the fact that he completely wasted the character in the first movie. I agree with that, but also Joss Whedon admitted that he wanted to play with the audience because that's why he gave him all this screen time and all the all the normal things you would say to a character that's going to die at the end of a movie. Right. Well, yeah, he did definitely. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you've got this secret family. Okay, yes. you got two beautiful kids, one on the way. You're the only human among these gods. You're right, giving right. pep talks to everybody. Yeah. 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 That was like the Cliff Notes <laughs> version of Avengers Two. That was really good. <laughs> I, I've seen have, it three I times. I can't wait for the interpretive <laughs> dance later when he does the yeah. scene with all the no, heroes the and about, Ultron. The line where they talk about, and spoiler alert, where he talks about, I'm among all these gods, and they're like out there. Yeah, yeah. Bleeping, yeah, bleeping around out in the, in the yard. Chopping wood and yeah. Whipping, yeah. whipping trunks of wooden half. Yeah. 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 yeah, he didn't die. I don't, I don't, but I don't think that they were going to kill him in that movie. I think that it could happen in the future, though, because he is the mortal. Why not? Why not indeed, right? right. Okay, Star Wars uh, news. Uh, Star it's Wars Disney awesome. Infinity is going to yep. have Star Wars stuff in it. Disney now, Infinity 3.0. I don't play Disney Infinity. I do. You do. Do you do it? No, I no. do not. But you know what it is, right? Yes. So you collect the figures and you play the game. I don't it, actually collect the figures. My kids all collect the what? figures. That's that doesn't make any their sense collection. To me. It's, you it's, have hurt it's my tough. brain. <laughs> it's tough because I buy them for them and they put them on their shelves and they have it and I we play you, the games together. I bet you take them out of the room and sit and like play with them at your no. desk. Oh yeah. No, believe me, I've got enough of my own action figures and toys. <laughs> I'm um, sure. So, no, but they're really cool. The Star Wars ones are awesome. Um, now, are they doing stuff like Star Wars Rebels, or are they doing like Episode Four? Or? Right? No, they're doing because the, the, the in the uh, initial base pack that comes with the game disc, I can't. It's Anakin and somebody else. Okay. So it's not Rebels because it's Anakin in it, but I think they're going to have they Rebels. Like the people, or are they like? Well, the, they're in cartoon version of like. Do they look like the ones from Rebels or Clone War? Or Clone I think Wars? they look like the Clone. Like the okay. Anakin looked like the one from the Clone Wars. Okay. Okay. From That's the Clone, what I'm cartoon at. Clone Wars cartoon. Eventually we'll get there. That's what I was asking. All right. So you've played this game. Just I need some explanation here. Is it the way I understand it? And I might be wrong. Is you, you get the figure and you plug it into a thing and that makes the figure come up on your screen and then you fight with them. Is that right? You don't fight with them. You you build. You go through missions. Oh, I thought play. it was just a fighting game. No, no, it's no, it's it's like, it's a, like a story. Yeah, there's a story to it all. There's like this toy box. Uh, Version where you can like build your own castles and have characters jump in and out, and yeah, it's a lot all of right. fun. Is it all uh, right. online? Is it? I, I don't know. No, no it's a Nintendo no, thing. It's, uh, oh. No, it's all the systems. Every system has it. It's just not not only Nintendo. Oh really? I thought it was yeah. just a, like no, a all, Wii thing. All platforms. Oh, all right. You've you've uh, enlightened me. Thank you, Alil. You are welcome. We are now changing your name from a Lily to Enlightened a Lily. Thank you, Enlightening a Lily. Uh, <laughs> it's not working tonight. Uh, let's see. So many boos. Thank you. Got, you. It, it you got was, one that from was, your daughter. That was very boo. Uh, when they they had some great, you know, obviously with the uh, Avengers two Age of Ultron coming out, the big trailers were coming out, and they played the the Star Wars one, which is still awesome, and oh, yeah. saw it in IMAX in three D, which was outstanding. But the Fantastic Four one that's been still running around intrigues me, and I know you're not the biggest fan. I I can't tell. It seems like they've got a, at least a good take on what happened to them and how they're going to get their powers and what's going to happen. So, <laughs> Here's a telling story with that, with that movie. And the fact that Josh Trank, who directed that movie, who directed Chronicle, which Chronicle, great movie. Right. I, I really enjoyed Chronicle. Um, basically was booted off doing one of these Star Wars movies. Yes, that was in and, last week in This Week in Geek. Yeah, and some of the rumors were because these people saw the Fantastic Four. And said, eh. And they're just like, whoa. Bad. Well, maybe uh -oh. just, <laughs> <laughs> we, We've got to pull back. And the thing is with Fantastic Four, it seems like they've, they have gone and done a lot of rework on the movie. Sure. Re and that, by reshooting, That's I think true. by manipulating the movie amount. and probably the story. I think they said it was six weeks of reshoots or something. 
Re- that's as long as it takes to shoot a movie in a lot of cases. Yeah. Uh, not if you're Peter Jackson. Well, no, if you're Peter Jackson, it's six years. But but that's okay. I mean, but he, then you get puts out some amazingness good stuff. out yeah, of it. I, I don't I, think you're getting amazingness well, it, out of Josh Trank. You know, if, if it's the, the trailer is the best part, I can... I'll live with that. I mean, okay. I think we. I mean, I think we talked about you, it. It's not going to be. It's not going to be the huge. I'll tell you how I'll live with happen. it. If the trailer is the best part of it and it sucks, but it's going back to Marvel. Marvel is eventually going to get those characters well, back because their X Men is in trouble. Even though Days of Future Past was awesome, I don't. I don't think X Men's in trouble because I they're going to play Deadpool. Deadpool's going to make money. They're going to keep it I, going. You got Wolverine three in the pipeline. I'm not buying that's going to be a good movie. I am not buying it. I am not buying it. And you, Jackman, is only doing Wolverine 3 and the next X-Men movie, right. and he's Apocalypse. done. When you, Jackman, he's, is out of there. He's done until beep, beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> Here no, comes a no, back truck. So a lot of zeros coming. No, he's he's back done. Dr. Oz. He is not done. He. This is all pub. He's, I'll tell you when he, he said it two wait, months ago. Wait, he was ago, on Dr. Oz? That's when he announced it, yes. What? <laughs> Who announces things on Dr. You know, exactly. the only show worse to announce it on is <laughs> this one. No, there's, there's <laughs> no, no. Have you seen Dr. Phil? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but in all seriousness, Less viewers, he though. announced it several months ago, especially after Days of Future Past came out, that, oh, my God, I want to play Wolverine until, until right. I die. No, no. I want to do Old Man Wolverine. I want to do this. I want to do that. I love Wolverine. And then, I can't and think about Old Man Logan. I just want that to happen so badly. He's, I don't want to be Old not, Man Rob when Old Man Logan only, comes out. The only way he's going to leave and there. say he wants to leave is if Fox in the back wants to recast him because they want to do something different. Sure. And they don't want to pay him the truckload of money. So can I That's tell you why. what I think is going on? Because all these things always have some ulterior motive. I think that he is saying, I'm done, because he's done at Fox. He knows he leaves. If they can't pull this thing together and recast the right way, it's going to put him in a vulnerable position. Marvel can make a partnership with Fox at that point, possibly. Because if he thinks Fantastic Four stinks... And he knows I can damage the X Men franchise this way. Marvel gets it, and he gets what he wants, which he wants to be part of the MCU as Wolverine. He has said that. That's what I think is going on. Do you, but do you, do you see the timeline for what has to happen? Yeah, it's he. He will. He will. Honestly, he will said, be yeah, way too attention. old to even <laughs> consider this. Like yeah. if he I stops working out, a little ten minutes ago. What? If, yeah, exactly. <laughs> for the people out there who are listening and paying attention to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Oh. Um, by the time they do all this, because you've got movies already in the pipeline that they're already in right, work. Of course. Oh, right, yeah. of course. So we're talking, it's going to be five years from this point. Right. Or at least, if not. So we'll, Hugh Jackman will be 55 years old. Sure. But if he doesn't want to do, yeah, okay, right. So when does Wolverine 3 come out? 2017. 2017, so two years from now, right? Yeah. And then 19 is... When would Wolverine 4... No, next, next when would Wolverine 4 is, uh, come out? Apocalypse, I think. Okay. Yeah. When would Wolverine 4 come out? They don't have one in the. They don't have one in the pipeline. Right. But they will but the thing, if he but, stays. But the thing is, if, they, if they're working on Apocalypse, then they've got Deadpool. Then they, and I know you still. But I know you don't think Deadpool's going to make uh, be a hit. But Deadpool, they're they're doing it on a shoestring budget. No, I think it's going to make they, money. I just don't know gonna if it's going to be money. good. I don't right. think it's going to be a tentpole movie for Fox them. Fox doesn't care about that. Fox cares about yes, the they buck. do. Yes, they do. Really? Because they've put out a lot of garbage, and right. I don't think they care. I think they care. I think they care when they see the Marvel money that's flowing. If they come out with another X Men three quality film, I think yeah, they're going to go. X Men three, which was their Oops. highest um, hi- uh, highest payout X Men movie until Days of Future Past. Okay, I'm just. But saying. it almost killed the franchise, and that's what no, they say. Is Origins they killed the fran- almost killed the oh, franchise. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's what it but was. You know what? It's one movie that almost killed the franchise. That's what I'm saying. One movie. If one movie can kill the franchise. It can put him in a vulnerable position. And for Wolverine, for, for but that, Hugh Jackman, if, if you're saying, if you're pushing it out to 2015 for Wolverine 4. 2020. 2020. 2020. 2015. 2019, 2020 is what we're looking at. Yeah, okay. So 2020. Hugh Jackman's 55, you said? Why, can't, 50 why wouldn't he be 55 he's, he's, at, at Marvel? Why not? They fit Spider-Man in and they figured out a way to make it work. Why wouldn't they do an Old Man Logan Netflix series and do it right and make it crush? Why wouldn't they do that? There is I don't think Hugh Jackman is doing a shareholder at Disney. Why can't you make I, it happen? I don't think I don't think Hugh Jackman is doing a Netflix series. No. 
He's there's no way they could pay. I him tell you money. what, I'll tell you how he's he would. A Thirteen hour beep, Netflix series. Beep, beep. Marvel put that kind of money in his pocket, and Marvel might just do it for something like that. Just in spite of just to spite Fox. Yes. No, but you know what? Like, I think what you're saying kind of supports a little's point that Fox just wants to make money off of their properties. They're not looking for the home run. They and they're not in the, they're not in DC trouble where they're just struggling right. to make a decent movie. If Fox makes an okay movie and they make money off of it, I think they're happy because they don't need to make the killing. Because right. I don't I don't think they have the bombs that the DC franchise has had. Yeah. I mean, true. Fox has had some iffies, but. They're still well, even, making money. Yeah, so. even even Origins still made money. Right, I mean, still made good money for for what it was. It yeah. was just terribly received. And guess what happened? They went out and they made more X Men movies. Right. Okay. I, All right. I, I just don't. I don't. I just don't see them giving that up that easily. I, it, now, I'm, not, I'm not saying mark my words on this right. one, but I am saying and I don't think Hugh Jackman are, using this as a power play to get. Into oh, the I do. MCU. I think is. I think that. Even if it's not the it's scenario, it's a power I play gave, to get money, yes, but not a power, it's a play, power to get play. MCU. Well, yeah, but the money power play, they all do but, it. They all. But do he that. wants yeah, to be part of the Robert MCU. Robert Downey Jr. did it. Has done it five times for, already. For right, Iron right. Man. He's still going to do it. And but he's Hugh Jackman 52. has said repeatedly he wants this deal with MCU, and he's been very well, vocal he's said about it repeatedly, that. Repeatedly, and then now he's saying he's not playing Wolverine again. So, I don't know. All right, all right. I'm moving on. Yes. This may not matter to anybody, but I think it sounds cool. No. Uh, we are endlessly getting these TV series. Everything, is, every movie and every video game is now being made into a TV series, and I'm all right with that. Well, the latest one that I heard, Mist. Remember the game Mist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are they going to do with that? Don't walk know. around. I mean, playing the Apple IIe. But you is know it what? It's going to be Nuke Dukem. It's going to be horrible. Like you know, the what movie's if it's good and then it's first, horrible. The but what if it's just like, like hand. Yeah. <laughs> what if they gun. treat it like Lost? And they have this bizarre mystery because that's what the game was. Yeah, it could work. I think there's an interesting idea there. On the other hand, it's a game with no dialogue, and you wander around, and you have to solve very boring puzzles, and it takes up all your life. And then you go, "Wow, that was a waste of time." Could that be the series we're looking at here? So it sounds like a lot of shows on NBC. Is that what you're <laughs> right. Boom. So wait, boom, who boom. is? Yeah, I was gonna say, who's doing this? <laughs> NBC. It's, it's done. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's an all right. It's 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 a cool idea if they if they do it something like Lost. I'm excited where they have for this it. Mystical island that's covered right. in mist and and there's all these crazy things are going on. Yeah, yeah. it could work. I mean, think about it. They they but walk really into an area. You played the game, right? Yes. Yeah. They walk into an area and there's these weird like puzzles, and we're not going to sit there watching them solve the puzzles like Survivor, but. They like they. Maybe that's what it should be. Oh, what it if they did little, that? Like, what about if it's Clue and Mist put together? Oh <laughs> yeah, Tim Curry. Tim, <laughs> that's the only way it would work. Tim Curry jumps out every once in a while. Hey. He just comes out as Pennywise. Right. <laughs> yeah, they cast Pennywise. Speaking of that, so there's oh, they're, yeah. re- they're remaking it, and for the have, what fourth time now? They have the fin- no, no. This is the this is the yeah, first this, remake. Yeah, this first remake. They did the TV movie, and now they're doing. Is it a TV movie or no? Movie? They've done it with something it's a two-part else. Two part movie. Two part movie, and they. You're re- thinking cast, of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. They <laughs> cast. I don't know his name. I don't know his name. I never know anybody's name. Uh, but it's the kid from. He played Butch in Home anybody, Alone, right? No, he played the he? older brother in Home Alone. I think that's who it is. No, I he's, think so. That guy's like fifty. No. Yes. No Butch in Home Alone. Well, that was 1990, right? I, yeah, he's like 50. I want to say he's like 45. I don't think it's Butch. Like 40. It's no. the guy. Did anybody Not, see the Maze Runner? William saw Younger the Maze Brothers? Runner. Did you guys the, see the Maze Runner? The I don't remember Home Alone, man. It's, it's the, 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 it's the guy. I think that's who it is. Who, it's the guy from Maze Runner who's like a teenager. He's not Butch. Um, oh, he's Butch, mister. Uh, <laughs> no, he's the guy with the weird eyebrows. Do you know who I'm talking about? And he played like the he played like the guy who's like the first guy on the He's island. He's also in Narnia. And, somebody's or, saying, I don't know. Narnia. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, you know what I'm either. talking about? I did not see? see Maze Runner either. Dana Carvey. I got the name. Dana Carvey. He's like 70. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing church so lady. So that, that, that guy, that guy is out and he's Pennywise. <laughs> but that, that would guy actually is work. the guy cast as Pennywise. <laughs> How weird is that? Do you? I mean, I don't get a Pennywise vibe off him, but who knows? I think it's hard to beat Tim Curry as Pennywise. That's a hard yeah, cast. I, I Unless the is. guy that played the clown in uh, American Horror Story played Pennywise. Oh, my gosh. That would, oh. be, that would be crazy. Oh. He was unbelievable. Take my money. That would be incredible. That was, <laughs> that was the best. When he pulled and, his mask off, and it, it was just like a missing jaw on his tongue going, ah. Yeah, that was. Like, jo- like Jabba. Yeah, ah. it was crazy. Good. 
It's awesome. I never want to see that again. <laughs> I, we're streaming live. People are already turned off after that. I, mean, I think they were turned off when they saw you, off, Mister. Yeah. Our one or, person, or, or yeah. one fan. It's Phil. Phil. Phil's watching. Just, just because <laughs> you know Phil's watching. Just Edward's because, like, I can't take this click. Yeah, just because Edward. William is watching doesn't mean we have anybody on Twitch. We just That's have true. William here. Uh, okay, so <laughs> he's like, there is nobody. It's a zero. Speaking <laughs> of TV shows, they canceled the Shield spinoff, the one of the two. No one's talking about that secret second one, but. They canceled the one with Mockingbird and Hunter. Which is fine. Agents of Moonlighting is what I call it. And that I'm glad that was canceled. <laughs> I want Mockingbird and Hunter to stay on S.H.I.E.L.D. I do. I, I agree with that. I mean, I think they'll, I think they'll have a better, better story. I do, too. With the MCU uh, on there. I think them yeah. taking those two off of the show thins it out a little bit. And it gets less interesting without them. I agree. So I'm glad that that fell through. And the big news, not only did S.H.I.E.L.D. get picked up for Season 3, but Agent, Agent Carter. Carter got yeah. picked up oh, for yeah. Season 2. That's fantastic news. I am news. down yeah. with Agent Carter. Yeah, are they going to have a full season or just a half season? No, it's that mid-season thing again, yeah. which I'm fine with. Give me, give me 13 those eight weeks episodes. Yeah. Make them solid. Now, there were this year there were a couple of iffy points, and we talked about we thought, it. Yeah. But now that they have a Season 2, now you can do something more with it. Let's flesh some stuff out. Let's make it cool. I am super excited for that. I am too. I, I think I think Peggy Carter. I, I I really think she did a great story. It, it was really fun and something different that we yes. don't get a lot on TV. Yes, and it was a cool period was, piece. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it did bring in some of that. Like it brought in the Shield action that we were waiting for on Agents of Shield. It did right. a lot of that hand to hand combat stuff. And, yep. That's it. It really pulled that off, and Hallie Atwell's just awesomeness. Yes. Right now, she's going to be in. What is she going to tie into the movies or not? Well, they did. In she was in Avengers, even though I slept through that part. Yes, she okay. was in there. That's who that was. Okay, it's I, awesome. I, mean, yeah. I when, I'm going to be when, obviously. When, I'm not very familiar with that. So yeah, when uh, Captain America had his his dream sequence. Okay, right. When that he, was that was, that was her. Atwell. Okay, yeah. and she yeah. was in Cap too. But she's going to be. In, and she was in. Uh, she's going to be in. Yeah. Uh, and she was in Civil Captain War, America. right? We don't know yet. I thought that they announced that in the thing that she no, was No, they be didn't part of show it. her in there. They showed I thought that was the Today stuff, wasn't it? Somebody said it was Morgan Freeman. Are you the one that said no, it, was it was Morgan, Morgan Freeman? Freeman. It was Martin Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman. <laughs> I did. I said that in, That would in, be awesome. Sam no, cuz I was saying no, Morgan Morgan Freeman. Freeman. We, we were talking about miscast people and I said they're going to take Morgan Freeman and make him like a janitor and put I'm him like, in there. What are you so. talking about? And now I figured out I just now figured Freeman. out yes. it was Martin Freeman you meant. I was hoping you would have forgotten that in my mind. My mind's like a steel trap, don't you know that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay. Here's some bad news. Did you see the uh, that they ordered a series based on Uncle Buck? <laughs> I Hold love on. Uncle Buck. Yeah. But this is this is the half of them are dead. Even the kids are dead. <laughs> but in it's the movie. not. Are if you look dead? at the cast, no, they're not. John Candy. John like, Candy's oh dead. John Candy's I know dead. John Candy's if you dead, look but... at the cast, it's the same cast picture from Blackish. Look at no, the picture. It is. No, I saw Look that. Look at the it, picture. It, is. it looks exactly like the promo shots for Blackish, and it's Uncle Buck. What Wayans is in it? That's all I have to ask. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. That's. <laughs> I'd like to weigh in on this. That's terrible. I don't want to see this. Is Ice they're doing Cube, Rush Hour, is, too. Is Ice Cube Can you imagine in it? how bad Rush Hour is going to be? Why are they doing a TV series of Rush Hour? I it's like not, Rush Hour. I know. Well, no, it was a great movie, but it's not. It's good. not going to work. You're not going to have Jackie Chan, and I can't take Chris... Pratt or Chris whatever Tucker, is every week. Yeah, Chris Tucker. Tucker Chris Tucker week. was fantastic in every those. week. Oh no, every is he on the week? show? Every week? Is he yeah. on the show? No, it's not. No, it's not so they're going to get somebody else. So who are they going to get? I don't know. And whoever they get, are they going to imitate him? And I don't want to see it. I think it's going to be terrible. Mark my words, it's going to be terrible. But Mark the Muppet Show is going to be awesome. They're doing uh, Muppets tonight. For, is it what? What? Isn't Can't that what they're doing? Out. Muppets Tonight? It's not the regular Muppets show. It's Muppets Tonight. It's like a... Like a it's an adult version. Jamie Oliver? <laughs> adult version of the Muppets? What are we talking yeah, about? No, no, no. It's Muppets like, After Dark? It's like, I mean, it's like, <laughs> that's on HBO. <laughs> Boom, chucka, wah, wah. <laughs> hello. Game hello. of Muppets. <laughs> hello, Piggy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter Dinklage. Is. Yeah, Peter Dinklage. How dare and he's you? he's still shorter than the Muppets. <laughs> oh, way to throw some hate at the no, Dinklage. I, no, he's fantastic. There is no hate he's, towards him. Oh, no. There uh, is not. Uncle Buck is going to be Mike Epps. Is that, it Mike Epps? Yes. Right Mike Epps. That's horrendous. 
I told you. It's going to be Jeff terrible. always replaces Chris, uh, Chris Tucker. Nia oh. Long. It's, it's going to be. Nia just, Long, really? Nia Long as Alexis. They're digging That's the So the cast of Friday. Yes. Without Ice Sub- Cube. Substitute, Cube. Ice, substitute Mike Epps for Ice but Cube. But you know what? Ice Cube well, is Mike gonna, Epps was in Friday 2 but, and 3. But Ice Cube is going to guest star on it. I guarantee it. And then it's going to become I'm, Uncle I'm, Barber I'm Shop. Curious on who's, Uncle Barber I'm, I'm curious on who's producing that. Ice Cube. No. <laughs> Wait, I'm looking. I'm trying to read it. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm going to move ahead. Um, did you guys see the uh, the trailer for Vacation? There's With, a, yes. There's a Red Band trailer for the new Vacation. It's got uh, Ed Helms. Himes, Ed, Ed Helms. Helms. Who's playing fantastic. Rusty Griswold. And now he's taking his kids on a vacation to Wally World. And when I heard the premise, I went, didn't we see this movie? And then I saw the trailer... And I was laughing out loud. Yeah, Christina Applegate plays his wife, and, and he is so clueless. She's like, didn't you? There's actually a line in the trailer when he's like, we're going to go to Wally World. And she goes, didn't, we, didn't you already do this? <laughs> like, didn't this? And he's like, no, this will be different. Didn't you watch the movie? Yeah. <laughs> the whole movie was bad. <laughs> but it was so funny, Sorry, I folks. thought. I thought this trailer was funny. Wait, did you, did you just say Vacation was bad? No. Oh, no, 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 oh, okay, no, okay. no, no. You right, almost got second. No, no. I was no like, I'm just saying. The, did I just read this? When they said they redid it. Oh, okay. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was going to be bad. From, but it, from their point of view, funny. it was definitely bad. And yeah. you want, from you our want point of view, looks, it was great. You want one that looks even, I'm even more excited about? They announced this week that they're doing a sequel to The Three Stooges. <laughs> yes. I'm, I I'm, love that I'm, movie. I'm dropping the mic. I'm out. I'm done. No. Did you see it? It's the Farrelly Brothers. I didn't enjoy it's it. It's Will Sasso. You didn't enjoy it. What is wrong with you? There were funny parts, but it's kind of... I thought it was funny. It was okay. Yeah. For it was what right. it was, it I was thought enjoyable. it was funny. It was watchable. That's and, I'll give it a And that makes me say I'm happy about the, the sequel. If they make it, that was funny. If it's funny, I'm good. All if right. I'm looking for a great movie, no, I don't think we're getting a great movie out of it. All right. But it's a good time at the movies. That's all I care about. Oh, no, I'm going to go... That, I'm that's go not back. at the movies. That's... That's it's a good box. time. It's a good time. The rocks are on cable. <laughs> that's our. That's to be our new HBO podcast. Now, uh, when it yeah, shows up like, on there, I, yeah. I'm going to go back when to I can vacation see it for free. If Ed Helms sings the Doug song, I'm in. The Doug song from Hangover. Doug, Dougie, Dougie, oh, yeah, Doug, Doug. Right. I'm in. That's it. Yeah. No, that one. I think that looks good. Although Chevy Chase, yikes. Yeah, he, he's like he, he's coming out. He did get old. Some on communities on Hot Tub Time Machine. I mean, he's he's old. Yeah. Ooh. He didn't age well. Like, no. For some odd reason, Steve Martin looks the same. And I'm like, Steve, yeah, Steve Martin looks like he did 40 years ago, just a little skinnier. Yeah. Chevy Chase looks like he ate Steve Martin and uh, got not, gout from he's it. He's not that bad. <laughs> he's pretty he's bad. Good, he doesn't look bad, like Chevy bad. Chase. He's, I mean, he's in his 70s probably, right? Uh, yeah. I he's got to so. be close because yeah, he was old when 30, he was on Saturday yeah, yeah. Live. 30, so. yeah, I mean, it's 40, 40 years, so yeah. I would bet he's there. <laughs> I mean, Bill Murray aged, but he looks fantastic just because he... Because he's Bill Murray. Yeah, he's Bill Murray. Right, right. So. All right. I there there got... was a thing that I saw in here that said they were doing one of those could have been cast as. Yes. That Bill Murray was going to be one of the Batmans. Oops. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> way, ba- way back, way back in the when, day. Way back in the day. I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. Yeah. That oh, yeah. That's not working for me. Unless they were doing the campy Batman thing and they wanted to try the that. The Zombieland okay. Batman? From... Oh, please. <laughs> oh, that please. Been fantastic. Imagine Bill Murray coming out in a Batman suit. Yes. Zombie Wait a minute, I'm going to put on the Batman fantastic. suit. Pretend <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm Batman, and then he comes out. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been good. Okay, Bill I Murray got... playing himself as a zombie. <laughs> I've only got one more. I don't know if you have any more, but I've only got one more. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about the Goonies sequel. Yep. And Sean Astin came out this week and said, "Yeah, they're having some trouble with this." So we thought, I mean, it looked like things are moving right ahead and everyone's like on board. And Sean Astin comes out and says, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know about that. Because Josh Brolin so, wants to be like a sequel to Old Boy. So or, I have a feeling, <laughs> yeah, right. I have a feeling <laughs> the that... The Goonies. <laughs> I have a feeling Goonies, Goonies 2 is not going to be in good shape. Uh, John. <laughs> yeah, Spike Lee's directing it. <laughs> Actually, and he's directing a movie right now in the city. What? Spike, Spike Lee? Yeah. It's called, it's called Chirac. Okay, he directed Old Boy also. No, I know. I'm just saying That's he's in the saying. city right now in the city of Chicago. Oh, it's in... Directing a movie about Chicago, about the South Side, about the violence called Chirac. Oh. 
Get, oh, just try, interesting. Chicago, Iraq. Yeah, whatever. I get it. I, yeah, yeah. I get it. Just, just tell <laughs> the me. synergy. Catch it. Uh, I'm seeing the wheels spin. <laughs> no, the, no, no, you're not. <laughs> no, all the gears there. aren't. The gears aren't meshing. <laughs> the, the gears have the little prongs all broken <laughs> off. They just going. They're, <laughs> they're stripped. I'm, I'm just cutting meat with those gears right that's now. Right. There's nothing else going on. Do you guys have anything else, or is that it? No, I think that's it. All right. I think. Are you done? No. Just you know, like go back over one of the trailers, the Terminator trailer, where Arnold looks. The super old, super old, no, I weird, thought, super old and weird. But I thought that was Chevy Chase. Although right. he looked good in um, uh, the zombie movies, doing uh, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, yeah, yes. he did. Maggie well, looks and, cool. And, and so maybe they know. did it intentionally, and then they did the CGI. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe because you know you're you're bringing that CGI. Cl- right. old, you know, young Arnold in, and you know they want to want to be older, separate it. But know, man, he looks, he looks like had some weird hairdo. I'm right. like, what? Like, he had the great Donald line, Trump? "I'll be back," like, and then he's like, "I've been waiting for you to see the young one." So yeah, that's gonna he, be. He's got old man hair in that movie. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, at least he's got good. hair. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, last thing then, King Kong is there. It looks like they're doing a ride at Universal. To bring it, yeah, they're, yeah, to bring it back because they took it down. I love that King Kong ride that they used to have. That one where you're on the trolley thing. I thought that was cool. Yeah, um, I think is they, Adrian but Brody going to be the uh, No, this one is based on the new movie, see, Skull Island. Yeah, I'm teasing. Yeah. Which I am super excited for. Yeah, we'll see. Giant monkey. Yeah, they gave me Godzilla Giant and it was terrible. Giant monkey. So, yeah. yeah I'm, but, not, I'm, not, I'm not trusting it until I see it. Okay. All right. Oh, that's such a hater, 30 man. seconds of, uh, yeah, here we're going to build a star. It's like, you know, Highlander. <laughs> two seconds of Sean Connery. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, I'll cash my check. I'm out of here. But yeah, they get, uh, what's his Breaking Bad? That's it's yeah. like Brian yeah. Cranston. Brian yeah. Cranston. The whole trailer, five minutes of trailer long, it's all was Brian it? Cranston. Like, yes. He's gone. Well, we had yeah. a budget of... Uh, Spoiler alert, he's dead. He's yeah, that, dead. that was the whole budget for him right there. <laughs> we're uh, sorry. Supergirl got picked up. Beverly Hills Cop 4 is not happening Wait, what's now. not picked up? Supergirl? Supergirl, Supergirl is picked up. Did they up. even have the pilot there? They haven't aired it yet, but it got picked up by the studio. Oh, it got picked up. It I thought got you said it up. wasn't picked no, up. It nope. got like, picked up. No, it got picked up. But Beverly Hills Cop 4 is off the table right now. So well, I'm good with that, Because they saw too. the Saturday Night Live uh, of Eddie of, Murphy. Of, yeah, Eddie Murphy? Of I think it's because somebody went, oh, my gosh, we approved Beverly Hills Cop 4? What were we thinking? Somebody yeah, woke up. You know what? Have you seen some of the movies out? I think it has a, it would have a shot. <laughs> Even if Eddie Probably. Murphy's just sitting there, uh, you know, he might, might do something. Doing donkey from Shrek. <laughs> wow, Dies, Axel. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant you meant imitating him. Yes. I thought this went blue. <laughs> it's Bronson right, Pinchot. Oh, Bronson, yeah. Bronson yeah. Pinchot. The whole this movie. is the blue box, but nothing yeah, else. That's right. All right, I'm wrapping it up. Thank you Sounds for listening, good. everybody. That was this week in Geek. We will be back next week in Geek. Hey, tonight. <laughs> After dark. <laughs> <laughs>